thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> hey guys, your boy just made it here in Hanoi, Vietnam. It is my official second day here. Well, I arrived here last night, so today is my second day here in Vietnam. And I'm sorry for that kind of noise, that construction thing noise, because I think that's how it is here in Vietnam. And all like when you hear the kind of uh, someone selling something via announcing it over megaphone or microphone, yeah, that's how they sell stuff here. They walk around, they have this cart with them. I'm staying in Hanoi right now, and this place is called Luxury Backpacker, and the name suits itself because this is a place for backpackers but man dude this is a very beautiful hostel it's like they've got beds divided and it's pretty nice pretty clean neat so this is my bed very accommodating and very welcoming staffs here the bathroom is clean and everything is organized it's not that hot every night it's kind of cold well anyway and Ho Chi Minh have different kind of weather temperature. In Hanoi, it's quite colder because it's closer to China. Right now, I think it's, um, I checked a while ago, it's 19 degrees Celsius. And I think in Ho Chi Minh, it's around 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. So it's, yeah, it's totally different. And also, I just want to share my experience with you of what happened to me last night. Traveling from Shem Reap, Cambodia to Hanoi, Vietnam. So I was in the airport, I was in Shem Reap, checking in all my stuff. And then I met this guy that comes by the name Carlos, he's from Argentina. Yeah, so I approached him first, I said Hanoi is waiting for us. And then from there, I asked him if he is a uh, solo traveler, he said yes. And I told him that I'm also... I'm also a solo traveler and then from there we matched each other we uh, seated next to each other on a plane and then we arrived Shamrit together because we have the same flight we just separated our uh, our paths because he stopped at bus number 7 and uh, I did my uh, bus stop at number 9 so it's pretty pretty far from each other uh, when I got a bus stop number 9 I had no idea where to go to because I had not downloaded or updated the maps that me application so it wasn't working last night and I have no Wi-Fi connection here so I was so lost last night good the good thing is that when I got off the bus there's this Korean guy who can speak English well he also got off the same bus stop I had this instinct that he's also going to luxury backpacker house though and so I came to him I asked him and I said hey can you speak English he said yes and then I asked him like um, I, I feel like you're also going to luxury backpacker, aren't you? And he said, yeah, I'm gonna go there. And I was so happy because we are going on the same place. We're going to stay in the same hostel and he has the Google Maps working. And so what I did is I just followed him. He located the place for me. Wow, it's a very wonderful night for me. I felt so lost, but a miracle happened. So yeah, getting lost, there's always a chance where you can be found so don't be scared of getting lost because you don't know what's going to happen a miracle can happen for you when you travel so yeah my my skin is burned up right now i just have to add that because of walking in cambodia in thailand so it's pretty hot in there but here it's not that much so. okay so right now i'm going to how long bay and little did i know i have to book earlier so that they can arrange everything for me because it's a cruise kind like they have one day tour they have two days three days and it's bloody expensive I have no money for that so right now what I'm trying to do is go to Gia Lam um, take the bus or the minivan there to go to Halong Bay and it takes four hours so I'm gonna try that because I want to save my money I just want to go along the Halong Bay and not by any ferry there I just want to take photos and that's it I want to stay there for a couple of hours and after that I'm going to come back to you. wow that's pretty loud later 
on my way to GLM right now and I'm riding the grab car motorbike with my driver. Okay. <laughs> Later. How long, bay? Just got a free ride. This is why I love Vietnam so much because this young lady right here, she's driving me to get to the bus station from Halong to Hanoi, and she just finished her work actually. And I bothered her. I asked her like, um, "Do you know how to get to the bus station? Because I need to get to Halong to Hanoi." And she said she can give me a ride there. Out of her work, actually, out of her work, she can, she's gonna give me a uh, bus ride from what's wrong. just so entertaining even though we do not understand each other because she can't speak English much but she was trying to give me the answers to my questions by Google translating everything from Vietnam language to English and it's so kind of her to do that and yeah this is the bus that goes to Hanoi and I think this is the last one good thing I'm very blessed today to catch this before it goes so I'm a very crazy traveler you know um, from from Hanoi I drove via minivan here in Halong for four hours I departed at 
12, I think, 12.30 and I arrived here in how long at 4 p.m. Yeah, I think it's 4 p.m. And I just stayed a couple of hours taking pictures of how long. Actually, didn't see the uh, beauty of how long itself because it's foggy today. So I didn't see the uh, island structure and all those stuffs and everything about the Halong Bay. Right now it's already uh, 6 p.m. and it takes about four hours to get to Hanoi. So great thing, I am blessed that I catch this bus to go to Hanoi tonight. So see you in Hanoi after four hours. Today is Saturday and it's a day out for the people here in Hanoi, Vietnam. That is why the park near the lake here in Hanoi is very crowded and it's very crazy. Look at that, it's so cute. It's so crowded and it's so very busy and that's why it's like this. and years later. Charger of my laptop, I left that at home. 
Vietnam. I'm so stupid about it. I'm vlogging right now here on the airplane. I don't care about it because I'm seated at the very back and there's nobody behind me. So I have this uh, very good confidence right now of doing this. I'm so excited to go to Ho Chi Minh, spend today and tomorrow. And tomorrow night, I'm gonna go back to the Philippines. So I'm gonna spend the most out of my time staying in Ho Chi Minh today night actually and then tomorrow the whole day um, before I go back home I have lots of things to say but I'm running out of words right now but yeah the thing is I'm so disappointed that I don't have enough memory anymore with my uh, memory cards in my camera and with this iPhone I'm using right now and I'm just so sad that I have to delete some of the videos I have uh, I must delete so that I could still uh, get shots and the videos of my uh, next trips. And that's all for today. See you in Ho Chi Minh.